We begin with the name of Allah, most compassionate, most merciful. Today we will bring a matter to your attention with the hope that this message will ultimately get to the operators of the Sunnah.com website. Sunnah.com is a web portal which contains the largest portfolio of hadith. The operators of the site have been doing a good job in storing hadith online from all well-known and well-respected books of hadith. However, a few months ago they started to abstract the method for reading the hadith, which is quite concerning. Nowadays, many of the hadith that are being added to the Sunnah.com portal from other books of hadith are being rated by the institution of Dar es Salaam and does not have any name of the scholar behind it and the reason for the rating. Historically, all hadiths were rated by the scholars of hadith and when they rated the hadith, they put their names next to the rating. They also documented their reasoning of why they rated the hadith Sahih or Hassan or Zaif. The name of the scholar next to the rating of the hadith is extremely important because it gives us a certain level of confidence about the rating of the hadith. With the names, we can tell a lot about the scholar. For example, we would know the name of the scholar, which city or region the scholar belonged to, what was the time span of the scholarship, when did the scholar pass away, who were the contemporaries of the scholar, where did the scholar receive his education, who were the teachers of the scholar, what was the school of thought of the scholar, what framework and rules did the scholar use to gauge the reliability of hadith? And where did the scholar earning his living from? Putting Dar es Salaam's name on the rating is a huge abstraction and it hides everything that pertains to the accountability and transparency of the rating process of the hadith. Now, if only the institution name is mentioned, then we would have no idea who is the person responsible for reading the hadith. If there are a group of scholars involved, then we won't know who were in the group. When there is no one person responsible, there is no one really accountable. This could become a huge issue in future as this mechanism can be exploited to modify things that will without any repercussions due to lack of accountability in the process. Through this video we are raising awareness and concerns that our tradition should be preserved with accountability and the name of the scholar should be mentioned in the rating instead of the institution. We hope that this video will be able to get the attention of the operators of Sunnah.com and they will be able to restore our tradition method for online portal as well. Please share this video extensively to preserve and strengthen our trusted Islamic tradition online. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, and like the videos and if you want to be notified for future videos then please hit the notification button as well. See you soon inshallah.